gentlemen, really distinguished panel tonight, and I'd like to ask Nick to kick off. Four live events we'll be holding in this hall this year. Um, welcome back to those of you who came to our first one on human evolution, and a very special welcome to those who've come for the first time tonight. My name is Greg Lawton, I'm the deputy editor of New Scientist, and I'll be your host tonight. Uh, before we start, a few minor housekeeping points. Please turn off your phones, or at least put them on silent. The exit is at the back, believe it or not, where you came in. And the obligatory plug. We have uh, new scientist subscriptions, books and bags available in the foyer. Uh, if you take out a subscription tonight, in print or digital, for yourself or as a gift, you get a complimentary new scientist bag, complete with our series of books, and that's an offer if you'll find anywhere else. <laughs> So anyway, let's go on with the proceedings. Our topic tonight, as I'm sure you know, is the origin of life. The origin of life on Earth. Well, it's the only life we know of, so it's got to be that life on Earth. It's possibly one of the biggest questions in biology, in chemistry, one of the biggest questions there is uh, that we can confront. Obviously, it's been chewed over by lots of very famous names and incredible thinkers, Charles Darwin, and his warm little pond springs to mind. Um, tonight, we've got two very distinguished speakers who I think it takes beyond ideas like warm little ponds. We have, on my right, Nick Lane. Uh, Nick's a reader in evolutionary biochemistry at University College London. Um, he's the author of the book Life Ascending, which won the Royal Society Prize for Science Books in 2010, uh, which a certain weekly science magazine described as original and or inspiring. An exhilarating tour of some of the most profound and important ideas in biology. Uh, we also look at Matthew Parra. He's a chemist at also at University College London. Uh, he's one of the bright young things in origin of life research. He's collaborated with some of the biggest names in this area, including Jack Shostak, who, as I'm sure you'd know, won the Nobel Prize in 2009. Uh, in 2012, he was part of a UK-based team that won the $50,000 Origin of Life Challenge, which challenges scientists to come up with new ideas for how life has started. So I'm sure you'd agree we've got a really distinguished panel tonight, and I'd like to ask Nick to kick off. Okay. 